Hey there, this is Ruth Rowland with a tutorial on the fiddle part to Cowboy Take Me Away by The Chicks. This piece was recorded by The Chicks. It was written by Marty McGuire and Marcus Hummin with Marty McGuire on fiddle, of course. This song is performed in the key of G flat, but since Marty definitely uses open strings, um, I believe she tunes her fiddle down. Uh, so I'm going to teach it to you in the key of G. You can tune your fiddle down if you want to, or just play it in the key of G. We'll warm up with the little fills and lines that come early in the piece. Marty plays that last D with her fourth finger on the G string so she can do a really nice vibrato. Playing it in tune is more important than the vibrato and the open string really has a nice ring to it too. So use whichever you're more comfortable with. There are some pads on this note. D, one, two, three, four. And sometimes she has notes leading up to it. Going into the solo break in the middle of the song. This break comes a little before two and a half minutes in, and it starts with bouncing bows. If you're not familiar with this effect, you get it by using your bow parallel to the string and then dropping it in a curved motion. You can control the length of the note by the amount your bow stays on the string. I'm going to play a little for you and then I'm going to count you in and we'll play together. One, ready, play. Going on. A bow. Starting up bow. One, ready, play. You notice we shifted up to third position. If you're not familiar with that, drop a note in the comments and I'll record a video for you about that. Stay there for this next part. And that run should be a little blurry, just in effect. And keep your first finger down. One, ready, play. And your first finger is still down. I'm gonna do this next part slowly. One, ready, play. Feel free to do separate bows if that's what you need to do to learn the piece. Let's put those parts together from the run. One, ready, play. Good, a little faster. One, ready, play. Play. 
so you'll notice that the little endings um, and they're interchangeable. You don't want to always use the same one, but it doesn't matter if you repeat them. Bowings are also up to your discretion. You can copy me, although I don't know if I always do the same one. When there's a specific one I like to do, I'll let you know. Now let's put the whole break together. One, ready, play. Wonderful. And then she goes back to the pads and all that stuff for the verse. And finishes with the outro. The first bounces should start down bow. But the outro starts up bow. bowing for you and I did a video on hokum bowing if you need a refresher going on up bow ready and play More hokum bowing, and you have to count those high notes. Count how many high D's there are before we go to the C. Two, down. So five, one, ready, play. Starting down bow. One, ready, play. Good. Going on. Notice the double strings there. Some of it's just the G, but at a certain point, she puts down her first finger on both strings this way. Ready, play. With me, ready, play. Faster. Good, and starting up bow. Ready, and play. Let's put the whole outro together. One, ready, play. Mm -hmm. 